this is Marco. In this video, I will show you the game between Vladimir Kramnik and Joel Lottier. This game was played in Tilburg in 1998. Where is Tilburg? Tilburg is a city in the Netherlands. Kramnik had white pieces and he started with d4. Lottier played d5, knight to f3, c6 c4, so we have a queen's gambit, slav defense, e6, queen to c2, d takes on c4, queen takes on c4, e4 is possible, but then b5, so we have queen takes on c4, knight to f6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, unpinning, e3, Lotier castle at kingside, bishop to d3, h6, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, knight to c3, knight to d7, rook to d1, lining the rook with the black queen, queen to e7, bishop to b1, intending queen to d3 and visiting black king on h7, e5, Kramnik castle at kingside, e takes on d4, e takes on d4, knight to b6 attacking the queen, queen to d3, g6 preventing, queen to h7, rook from f to e1, queen to b4 attacking the pawn on b2, defending, knight to c4, attacking the queen. Well, black also considered the bishop to e6 and didn't like bishop to e6 because of what would you do in this position if you had white pieces. Then bishop takes on g6 and if pawn takes bishop, rook takes bishop on e6. Well, Bishop to g7 was possible, defending the pawn on h6. And after a3, the queen to d6. But Lothier decided to win the pawn on b2, removing the defender of the knight on c3. So we have knight to c4. Queen takes pawn on h6, knight takes on b2, threatening queen takes knight on c3. White move. How would you defend the knight? Or if you wish, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did you find this move? Defending the knight. Perhaps not a bad move. Kramnik played a much more interesting move. And that is Bishop takes pawn on g6. Kramnik goes for a king hunt. Pawn takes bishop. And now very important. How would you continue the attack if you had white pieces? Would you play this? Then bishop to g7, no win for white. Believe it or not. So, what is the best move then? Kramnik played knight to g5, threatening a checkmate. Bishop takes knight, and now queen takes on g6 check. King to h8, queen to h5 check, king to g7, queen takes bishop now. Check, king to f7, white to move. White, play the move when black resigned. The move is... Rook to e3, 
Lothier resigned. If a knight takes rook, then check, and after king to g8, check, and after king to h7, checkmate. So a knight takes rook is out of question. Perhaps black should defend f4 square. So queen to d6, then it is possible to continue in two different ways. One is rook from d to e1, and another one is rook to f3. Let's pick rook to f3. Then king to e8, rook to e1 check, bishop to e6, queen to g6 check, king to d7, knight to e4 attacking the queen, queen to e7, knight to c5 check, king to d8, knight takes bishop, and after king to c8, rook takes rook check. But Luthier didn't want to go through all this, so he resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? Did you see the killer move in this position? If you did, congratulations! And what about this position? What was your choice? Queen takes pawn or the winning move, knight g5? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.